I'm extremely depressed right now. I'm gonna be completely honest with you. I do not feel good at all. I need anything to distract me, literally anything. So I don't know what we're gonna do. We're gonna figure out something. And I'm gonna bring you guys along with me because I need emotional support. I know you guys are just a camera right now, but I can already tell there's gonna be love in the comments. Hopefully. Uh Okay, so first things first, I haven't showered in, like, four days. Ew. I'm gonna shower and then cover my acne and put on a cute outfit and see if that makes me feel better. So I took a shower, I did my skincare routine, and I had an epiphany. Why don't I call this video 10 Ways to Cure Your Depression from a Depressed uh. So step one, do your freaking makeup uh. because look good, feel good, you know? Also, this spot, it was bleeding this morning. What's that mean? I probably shouldn't put makeup over it if it was bleeding, but I am. I'm trying to do this fast, cause I don't know. I put myself under so much stress. I feel rushed all the time. And like, for what reason? I'm literally not doing anything today. Okay, so hey guys, um, I'm gonna shut this off because it's loud. I'm in my vehicle, I have eyebrows now, and a beanie and glasses, and I'm dressed. <coughs> Sorry. Goddamn. Uh, I've decided that step two should be food and caffeine because... I'm gonna be honest, I have not eaten in like two days. I felt very, very nauseous. Some of you might know, like, when you get super anxious, when you get super depressed, nothing can stay in. I've been throwing up. Okay, it hasn't been good. So we're gonna go get some food and some caffeination. I'm not gonna lie to you guys. I was literally daydreaming and almost ran a red light. I'm tired. I need caffeine. So we're at where broke b go. Oh, I can't even see what I'm showing you. I'm at broke b land because I'm a broke. B I have no idea if the last part recorded, but uh. And that'll be everything. Thanks. When did McDonald's get so f expensive? Seriously. Like, a chicken McNugget meal is like... What are you doing? Um, a chicken McNugget meal is like 12 or $13 nowadays. And then my literally just one McMuffin with a nice coffee is like $9. I should have just gone to Starbucks, mother f Where's my phone? Undeb it. Oh, if it works. Oh. There we go. Have a good one. Yeah, you too. Thank you. He was looking at me really funny, like, why the f are you recording? That's just the YouTube life, baby. Hi. Oh, awesome. Thank you. And I'll just get you just to go, just to reserve two, please. For sure. Thank you. Aw, he was nice. Okay. We sit here and we wait for our muffin. Okay, while we're waiting on my McMuffin, uh, I'm gonna show you guys what you need to get to get your cheeks McClapped. Order an iced coffee. The vanilla one. Add a shot of espresso. I forgot to do it, but it's fabulous if you do. So good. And like $2, $3 I think. I was just complaining about how expensive McDonald's is, and now I'm like, get it, oh. it's super cheap. I hate how I default to the, like, the Shane Dawson face. Okay, they brought it to my window where I'm like waiting. I don't know why I'm doing like a taste test for you guys. You guys know what a McMuffin looks like. I get mine without meat because I'm vegetarian. That smells like a Mick egg fart. But this is how I cure your depression, so... It doesn't need to be anything glamorous. Oh. Food. Boom. That's step two. Get your oh. food. Get your oh. caffeine. Maybe that's step two and three. Two and one. Oh. We did that. Okay, so I thought I had a plan. Uh, turns out I don't really. To figure out what we're doing for the rest of the day, I'm gonna Google how to be less depressed 
And we're gonna see what comes up, and we're gonna try to do what comes up. Uh, uh, McDonald's. Uh, why am I in private browsing? That's sus. Ooh, how to get your McCheeks clapped. How to be less depressed. One, reach out and stay connected. Step one, have friends. <laughs> okay, next. Do things that make you feel good. Can you be a little more specific? Step three, get more of it. Okay, no, I want like things to do. Okay, so I'm gonna go things to do when you are depressed. <laughs> Ooh, this is activities to do with depression. Uh, swimming, riding a bike. Oh, indoor activities. Reading, arts and crafts, games, chores. See a movie, get a massage. Should we get a massage? No. Yes? No. Okay, you know what I think? I so happen to live in the city that has the biggest mall in North America. So we're just gonna head there, maybe get like a bubble tea or something. We're just gonna find something to do. Something to make me less sad. Okay, so we're here. Ooh, this is what it looks like. Kind of weird and funky looking. I don't even know. Focus. Yes, pyramid. I feel like we should do a little shopping, even though I'm broke. Maybe we'll just try some like things on and it'll be fine. We'll have a good time. We'll find things to make us happier. Step three, do bullshit at a mall. <laughs> How cute are these? Oh my God. I can't, okay, also I forgot my wallet which means i only have my phone tab which means that i can only spend anything that's under a hundred dollars which is probably good but how freaking cute are these uh i kind of wish i had my wallet oh, these are really cute that t-shirt knows i have no friends and is mocking me okay i found some cute clothes i'm gonna try them on i still feel like trash but we're trying to be less depressed guys I can't tell if it's because of the shirt being yellow, but I look uh, stupid. The pants are kind of cool, but at the same time, not. I don't know. Maybe if I like, God, this looks bad. Oh my God, no, no. Hey guys, I know what you're thinking right now. Fletcher, weren't you just in the mall? Yeah, I left because I started getting really sad. The one nice thing about leaving the mall after only being in there after going to two stores, my iced coffee is still cold. It's a sip of sadness. But it's okay, we're persevering on because the second that I stop doing something, I start thinking about all the reasons why I'm sad. So I feel like what I want to do right now is I want to go to the dollar store because one of the things on my little f list I googled of things to make you less depressed was arts and crafts and I love painting. I'm going to go to the dollar store and I'm going to get some of those little frames and I'm going to do a couple little paintings. Um, and I really feel like that's going to make me feel better so... Maybe I'll do a little dollar store for you, haul for you guys. So step four, do some arts and crafts. Okay, I'll see you guys at the dollar store. Dollarama, baby. I'm trying so desperately hard to pretend to be happy. I can't explain why, but this place feels like home to me. Not gonna lie, I thought these two uh. were dating until like a week ago. Okay, I'm back. Haul time. Um, we don't need the receipt because we're so rich that I don't even care about how much I spend at the Dallas store. I just go in there and I say, I don't even just take my card and just pick things out for me. And they do because they're like, he is so rich. We can just get him whatever. God, this is sad. Uh, so I got the little canvases that I talked about. Really excited to paint a little picture about my emotions on these. Um, oh. Uh, the next thing I got is this, like, cross-stitch little thing. And what I love about it is it's a rainbow and it has the pansexual flag. How fucking gay, how fucking glamorous is this? So whenever I get sad, I can just be like, 
I may be sad, but I'm also gay. And what doesn't scream sad gay more than this fucking pansexual cross stitch? Okay, I need a moment for that. Next, uh, something I thought would be really useful. This little bell that says, see if I can get it to focus, it says, ring for a kiss. So, hi, um, we're gonna try it out. So I'm gonna return this. Next thing, I thought, you know what I've always wanted, but I've never had? Bane's bitch. Very glamorous, very stunning. I like the ears. At least with this, now people can look at me and know that I'm a brony. Or on like several types of illegal substances. Hey, um, <laughs> did you see that? She looked jealous. Ashley should be. Oh my god, the lady that I said looked at me and looked jealous is f blind. She's still jealous though. She picked up my vibe and she was like, I want that. Oh, I missed the last thing, but I also picked up black nail polish. Because I feel like another way to help yourself when you're depressed is A, be an emo b with black nail polish, and B, like, pamper yourself. I was gonna go and get my nails done, but last time I tried to get, like, my nails, like, a pedicure and stuff, the lady called me the F-slur. And I wonder why. Honestly justified. I would do it too. We're gonna head home. I'm gonna paint my emotions, paint my nails, um, make some dinner. I'm feeling better, guys. Guaranteed I'm gonna go home and have a cry. But it'll be alright. That guy is doing substances. That really sums up where I live. I wonder if he's into, like, sharing. That guy's also doing substances. Where am I? I wonder if this will fall down if I drive with it up here. Oh, we're stable so far. I'm not risking it. Hey guys, I know I said I was gonna paint something, but then I sat down in bed and I said, wow, I feel really tired. And then I ended up taking a nap, which is good because I've hardly slept. Um, but I need to do dishes and then we're gonna make some dinner because that's step five, six, make food. Eat food. Don't die. Um, so we're gonna go grocery shopping, and I'm gonna paint after dinner? Maybe? I don't know. We'll see how I'm feeling, because we're gonna call step seven, point seven, don't do shit you don't want to do. Because, be nice to yourself. If you don't want to do it, don't make yourself do it, because I would just make you more depressed. I do love painting, though. I hope I'll have the energy to do it. I'm just tired. And sad. But, let's go get groceries. Okay, hi, I went grocery shopping. What is the price of groceries this day, these days? Like, why would you not? Literally eat out at every single meal. I got like three vegetables. It was like $18. A Taco Bell taco is like $2. Why wouldn't I? Pissed off. Anyways, I picked up a bunch of vegetables because I just want to make like a big salad. I feel like I haven't eaten a vegetable in like an alarming amount of time. Uh, so we're gonna do that, because I feel like I'm gonna get scurvy. And also, it'd feel nice to, like, give my body some nutrition, like some freshness, you know? I'm severely dehydrated. Uh, also, I got this Dylan Lemon Hummus. Yeah. Okay, so basically I have absolutely no direction for this massive salad that I'm envisioning. I just see videos all over my TikTok for you page of these like people just making these salads with all these really yummy ingredients and just like these massive bowls and just like making up a dressing. So I want to try that. So I have this big bowl and I'm going to put everything in this big bowl because like something about me right now, I just want like a massive salad. I wanna be like those girlies on TikTok that eat, just eat like massive salads. So I'm gonna start by chopping some romaine. Um, oh, I was just about to tell you guys that I don't wash my produce and then look, there's a bunch of dirt in this. So for the first time, I'm gonna wash my produce. I really hope that this turns out like super yummy because I need to win. If this doesn't turn out like literally the most delicious thing in the world, it's the end of me, that's for sure. Also, I have corn roasting, so I'm kind of trying for the salad to be like Mediterranean, but at the same time I want it to be like 
sort of Mexican, like Tex-Mex. This is too much lettuce. This is a lot. Um, okay, maybe. <gasps> now I'm gonna do some peppers. And this says organic. Thank God, because if it was not organic, I... I have to say though, this is extremely calming. If you want to just like have a chill time and like you can't afford therapy, just like cut up a bunch of vegetables. Also, it was like way too bright. Okay, I think I, I think I fixed it. I'm sorry if it like for the past little bit, I'm sorry if it looks like I was in heaven this entire time. I can assure you guys I'm definitely not going there. Anyways, I feel like this is a th extremely therapeutic. Like, if you cannot afford therapy, get a knife and chop up a bunch of vegetables, because this is calming. I'm only doing a little bit of tomato, because I don't like tomato, and I know... And I know what you're thinking. Why are you putting this in your salad? Why are you putting tomatoes in your salad if you don't like them? Ah, even though I don't like them that much, it does feel weirdly incomplete in a way without tomato in it. I don't know. I can't describe it. It's like a thing that I don't like that much, but still needs it. I don't know. Okay, while I have my cucumbers out, I really want to try that dill lemon hummus because that sounds freaking amazing. So we're going to try it. Mmm, kind of looks funny. I don't know. There's like specks in it. I assume that's dill. I know I'm not stupid, but it like, kind of looks funny. Okay. Mmm. Holy frick. Holy sh**. Ugh. I'm never having- Well, other than roasted garlic, second to roasted garlic, this is the best hummus. Okay, so it's really good. I'm gonna chop up a bunch of raw garlic to put into this. There's garlic gorils and there's garlic flakes. And I'm a garlic freak. I'm also gonna put a bunch of feta in it. The last two things I'm gonna put in, oh, I guess three, is a can of chickpeas, cilantro, and my roasted corn that literally looks so freaking good. This looks so freaking good. It is massive. Why do I cook like I'm cooking for a billion people? I don't know. Last ingredient, chickpeas. Now we're gonna make like a makeshift dressing. So I'm gonna do a big scoop of this lemon dill hummus. Maybe a couple big scoops. Maybe another big scoop. Some of this Greek style dressing. Chili garlic sauce for a little bit of spice and more garlic. And great olive oil. And more garlic powder, cause I have an issue. And lastly, pepper. I somehow deleted the audio of this clip. Um, here's me explaining that there's things in a jar. Things are definitely being shaken, and then I just dumped that bitty on. Ooh! Oh, she looked gorgeous. Oh my god, I'm hungry now. I'm thinking about the salad. So now I'm just gonna mix this entire thing. Ooh! Oh my god, this looks amazing. Oh, I forgot the quinoa! Okay, I cooled down the quinoa a little too much, and part of it's frozen. Ooh, it'll be fine. Okay, I really hope this tastes good. Okay, so I really hope this is good. There's a lot counting on this. My entire emotional stability right now is counting on this salad tasting good, so... That is really good. Okay. Mmm. Mmm. -hmm. Oh my god. This. Mmm. So this is really good. You guys need to try it. Um, I made such a mess, and this is really all I have the energy to do for the rest of the day is clean up this mess I made and eat this massive salad. 
So, um, thank you guys for watching my first video, if this gets posted. Please subscribe, <laughs> as this is my first video. Um, please subscribe. <laughs> please. <laughs> um, and I hope to see you guys back in another video, hopefully a less depressing video. I hope to post really frequently, so I'm definitely going to see you guys again. Um, and next time you see me, fingers crossed I'll be less sad. Okay, bye. Hi, I'm editing this right now. That was the world's worst outro. Uh, follow my Instagram, subscribe. It really would help support me and what I'm trying to do. Give this video a like and comment your phone number. I'll be calling you all back. Personally. Kayla, you bye.